Hi everyone, it's Giselle here with a message today and I've done something similar in the past but I want to revisit the concept and update it to something that's hopefully going to help you um, propel yourself even further into this journey back to yourself but also back to your divine love and um, last year I think it was or early this year I posted a video to say let's go back to the start let's take ourselves back to where we were before we met our beloveds and have that state of expecting the very best but not really expecting anything at all because you didn't even know what was going to happen in your life I know certainly for me and for the people that I read for um they said that before they'd met their beloved they were in a state of receptivity and not um, resisting anything because they were hoping for the very best but they didn't even know what they were going to get let's go do that but even further let's rewind past that stage and go beyond let's go back to when we were children because when we were children certainly for me it all depends I suppose on your childhood and I do feel so so bad for people who've had a rough time as a child but if you can, and if you did have a good childhood, or if you can remember a time when you were carefree, take yourself back to that place. Take yourself back to the place where you didn't have to worry about things, where you just went about your day, whether that's just a very small, short space in, you know, place in time, or whether that's a prolonged place in time, it doesn't matter. It could just be a beautiful sunny afternoon on a summer holiday when you didn't have to go to school. Um, or it could be a prolonged family holiday that you had with your parents and, and your siblings and it was amazing. Whatever that looks like. If you can remember a time where you had no worries, where you didn't lie awake at night thinking, well, how am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to afford this? Or how am I going to do that? How am I going to attract someone to love me? No. Go back to that time when you were innocent, when you were carefree, when you weren't bogged down by all of the negativity that people have put onto you, all of the ideas that you picked up along the way that have somehow ingrained into your mindset. You know, before that, you were innocent and you were happy and you were carefree, you were hopeful and you were positive. Go back there to that place and... Try to sit in that. Go into meditation and try to sit in that carefree energy and see the universe as your mum and dad because the universe is like your mum and dad where they will hold you and care for you and, and provide for you and you don't even have to ask. You know, food will be on the table when you need it. Um, clothes will be on your back. Money will be provided. You don't even have to worry. You know, you don't lie in bed. I mean, when you're a child... You don't, I, I'm again speaking for people who had a good time as a child, you lie in bed um, not worrying about, oh, how are mum and dad going to pay the bills? You lie in bed maybe thinking, well, what fun things am I going to do tomorrow or what's going to be at school and, you know, stuff like that. I think maybe <laughs> the biggest worries for people who didn't really like school was going to school, but you know, now that you've grown up, you probably think, oh, what was the big deal? Um, but you didn't, ne you never ever had to worry about stuff like paying bills or my taxes are due or anything like that. Take yourself there and see what happens. I hope this message helps you. Thank you so much for listening. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.